Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to yet another Subpixel live stream. It's a very special day, and I'll show you why. It's Xbox Series X unboxing day. Uh, well, it's launch day. You know, there's been a lot of videos lately about today we can unbox it, today we can show you the controller, etc. Today's everything day. I just got this about 15 minutes ago. Uh, so let me, uh, let's do some unpacking here. Uh, I gotta do a little bit of, um, gotta do a little bit of, um, behind the scenes rigmarole. So let's, uh, let me show you what we got going on here. We're gonna have, uh, we're gonna get a little fancy. I'm not gonna lie. We're gonna get just a little fancy. And we're gonna do this. Just kidding, you can't see it yet. No, you can. All right, so I'm gonna change this camera so we can actually do an unboxing here. There we go. Uh, apologies for the desk being a little bit messy, but you know what? It's gonna be messy because we gotta unbox this sucker. So let me throw that over there. Put that back there. All the way back there. Let's party. All right, um, you know what? I'm gonna grab a knife. All right, here we go. This is a knife. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen these. These are great. So I got these uh, working at Target like 16 years ago. Um, they're pretty neato. So basically, this is the closed position, open position. It's a normal razor blade you see sticking on the side there. And then to close it, you just push it down. Now it's closed and then the cool thing is Look at that, it's just, it's a normal razor blade in there. So it's easy to replace the blade if it goes dull. Although I've had this specific one for a long time and it hasn't gone dull, but it's super flat. So you just slide it into your pocket. Anyways, uh, that's gonna do it for today's um, Xbox stream where we unbox this knife. Just kidding. All right, let's party. Oh, first off, this thing, heavy, heavy duty. Oh boy. Jeez, uh, it's a little upsetting. You've probably already seen this. Uh, you know what, let me flip that camera around real quick. Almost there. There we go. So uh, it has the, the Master Chief on here, which is a little disappointing, but you know what? Um, things change. <laughs> Halo Infinite, not a launch game. All right, so I just need to figure out what's the intended opening procedure for this package. You know, I, th I think I, I think I have it. I think I'm, I'm gonna cut these two tapes right here. And then there's more tape along this bottom edge. This is why unboxing videos are dull. Oh, folks, I think I got it. Okay, here we go. Oh, wow. You know what? I'm going to do this so y'all can see it. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Power your dreams. That's pretty neato packaging. It's literally just open and pull out. It does have a little bit of a bag on it. That nice thing. It's got this nice foam going on here. Let's see if I can get this all the way out. Oh my God. That's a heavy console. Oh boy. Anything good in here? Quick start guide.
Oh, I guess the controller's back here. At least I hope the controller's back here. HDMI cable, I don't need that. Power cord, I will need that. Controller. Manual. Um, probably just some more stuff back there. I'll keep it like that for now. Okay, so. Woo. Let's take a look at this uh, controller first. You know what, actually no, let's plug the console in because my concern is that I may have some updates. I'm gonna have to download some games. So I think we can take a, a deeper look at the controller once we have that going. So that is power your dreams. Put that over there. Oh, this is like literally gift wrap. Just take a look, Elu. Got another one here. Oh my goodness. Look at that, folks. This is oofa doofa. That's a big boy. I know it looks dark on your screen, but here's my hand. It is just a very dark paint of black. So that's the front of the console. Um, that's the sync button, I think. Power button. It's oriented so that you um, you want to have it upright. Give me a second, folks. I'm just going to fix my cam. I, I, I can tell that it's doing the autofocus thing, so let me just... Disable that real quick. There we go. So it's not going to autofocus, but it'll be okay. Uh, slot here, eject button, sync button, one USB 3.0 in the front. Oh! Integrated stand. I believe this thing weighs 15 pounds. And I believe it. Uh, hi. Hello from Seattle is written on it. Oh my goodness. Oh. Yeah, it's pretty heavy. I'm gonna turn some extra lights on and see if I can get it lit up. Okay, so yeah, so that's, that's the console. Let's take a look at the back. That's the storage expansion, 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 HDMI out, power, ethernet, two super speed USBs. That's like the generic lock capability. It's hefty, y'all. Oh, it's kind of weird. I see, I, see, I see a cavity right here. I don't have a flashlight on here, but behind this fan is a big cavity. Oh. And that, it's not showing up on camera, but there's a thin, green paint underneath this black grill. Pretty nifty, yo. All right, so let's, uh, oh my goodness. Let's get it plugged in, turned on. Let me grab some cables I got hanging around here. First up, HDMI. I will. Whew. Oofa doofa. Um, power. Let me run this real quick. Oh, thanks for the follow, Hark. Um, it always weirds me out when it's a, when it's a two prong power cord. Um, I, I I do like having ground. This is more convenient, admittedly, but for console like this, I always freak out a little bit when they don't have a ground prong. Oh well, it should be fine. Okay, I gotta run this power. Let's plug power in. Hey, Harkronium. How's it going? All right, so now let me, um, Let me do some crazy stuff real quick. Which is to do... Uh, I'm doing pretty good. This is, this is the brand new Xbox Series X.
Okay. So, I know this is going to look a little wonky, but... Here we go. I'm going to power it on for the first time. Uh, I haven't powered it on yet, don't worry. It just looks a little wonky. Game captured raw. You need to... Properties. Oh, you know what it is? I, I gotta open. We were messing around with this a lot for the extra live stream, my Elgato, to try and get it to capture stuff. Um, but uh, I've gotta change some settings on my side. Yeah, yeah, I, I, you're 100% right. The Xbox and the PS5 are, are bulky. They're pretty big. It's interesting though, because I saw the teardown of both consoles and even though their capabilities and the tech they have inside is roughly the same, the Xbox Series X does a much, much, much better job of packing everything within this size. The, the PS5 is, it's not quite this tall, but it's like this. It's huge. Um, okay, all right, that's good. Now let me do that. Now let me do this, transform, flip the screen, properties, device default, okay. Okay. All right, let's, um, let's power on, see what happens. Don't worry, I'll fix that. There she is, boys. Let me put my headphones on so I can hear too. Wow. Wowzers. Very first boot, brand new console. Oh, they gave me some batteries. Set up your, with the Xbox app. Okay, let's see if I can do this. I'm actually using, this is my phone right here. I'm using it as my second cam. Let's see what happens when I go to the Xbox app. You're probably gonna get frozen screen for a bit. I'll be back. Daddy promises. Set up with the Xbox app. How do I? Okay, so I'm setting up with the Xbox app, but how do I, how do I actually do that? You know what, actually, I'm gonna hide this screen for a bit because it has an activation code on it. I don't think it's a huge issue for you guys to see it, but it would be nice not to. How, how do I? Oh, set up a console, set up a new console. Okay, it's going. So basically what I'm seeing right now is the console has given me a code. Okay, and I think it's just gonna load my profile. So on the phone, I put in the code via the Xbox app and confirming my language, my location. Um, I'm doing my full internet setup right now in terms of Wi-Fi password and stuff. Whoops. Right. 
This is hard because I, I know you guys can't see it, but I have my phone mounted as a camera. Oh. I'm inputting my Wi-Fi password into the app. Basically, I'm doing all the setup on the app, which is much nicer than using the, the controller and having to do that. But let me go ahead and put my controller. Ugh. Did I plug in? Oh, I didn't plug in Ethernet yet. I should have done that. Where's Ethernet? Oh, thank you. That's from uh, Jake did that. Oh, there we go. Forgot I had ethernet. Okay, it's telling me my console is online. It, <laughs> I immediately need a 775 megabyte update. But let's do it. At least while it's updating, um, and I can show you that. I'm going through and doing more options on the, on the phone here. I probably, seems like it's doing okay. It would have been faster if I had the ethernet plugged in first. Instant sign on. I'm just going through some of the settings on my phone, like instant sign on, things like that. Auto updates, remote features. Yeah. Okay, I'm signing in with my Xbox profile. Plus, plus. Minus, minus. So don't worry, you're not missing much on the phone. It just does a... Give your console a name. X, S, X, whoops. Next, I don't want Xbox info. I don't want publisher info. Please don't email me those. I'm gonna copy my settings from my existing Xbox One X. Okay, my console's updating. My phone says I'm done with the setup process, so I should be able to go back here and say hi. I'm back. Okay, the console is rebooted. This controller, you know? Okay, so here's some things I'm noticing about this controller. Um, Maybe I'll scoot the back of it. It has textured grips on the back between basically the battery and here is textured versus the Xbox One, it was smooth all the way around. Um, D-pad feels good. It's kind of the Xbox 360 style where it's, um, it has the, I don't know what you call it, like a hat, like an eight-way hat. Other than that, it feels almost identical, which honestly, I really like that. That's good stuff. The, it's, it's hard to describe. The, the analog thumbsticks feel a little bit different, like better. Uh, I don't know. I was just using an Xbox One controller because I started playing Yakuza 7. Yeah, see, I wasn't sure if I would like that D-pad, but... It seems good. It's got a nice solid click on it. Not a whole lot of travel. Um, I'm not like an old school platformer fan, so I, I don't really have like that obsession with D-pads that a lot of gamers do. So, but it's still good. It, I mean, it's it's 95% the same as an Xbox One controller, and I love the Xbox One controller. Oh, time to update. Here we go. Gotta update the controller. 
motionless and turned on. I'm not touching it. It's a good opportunity. I'm going to grab some water real quick. So I have been playing um, Yakuza 7 like a dragon this morning. I, I had this like big brain moment yesterday where Yakuza 7 is coming out on the Xbox One and the uh, Xbox Series X today. And I was like ready to get this console, the Xbox Series X, and play Yakuza 7. But then I realized, wait, with smart delivery and with cloud saving, I can start playing Yakuza 7 on my Xbox One X this morning, play it. And then once I get this delivered, the Xbox Series X, all I have to do is set it up, download the game, and keep playing there. So even though it's a it's a launch title, because it's cross-gen and because you have smart delivery, I just bought it once for the Xbox One. I play it on the Xbox One, and as soon as I get the Xbox Series X, I keep playing. That's awesome. That's some real neato stuff right there. Um, so that was kind of my first taste of next gen in a way is even though it's not necessarily a next gen title, like a next gen exclusive title, it's just like, I can start playing right away. Um, I'm also going to be loading Watch Dogs Legion. I already bought Watch Dogs Legion. Not a fan of that game, but with smart delivery, my save progress and my ownership of that title is going to transfer over to the Series X. So we'll download that version. They just patched the Series X version a couple days ago. It has ray tracing, so that'll be a good opportunity to show off some ray tracing. Ray tracing. Uh, I'm curious to see what that game looks like because I I don't want to say I've been having trouble with it, but it's not a great looking game. It has a lot of pop in. Some of the textures are wonky. It has some like level of detail loading that is not great. Um, so I'm excited to see what it looks like with ray tracing. Um, other than that, I may load some, you know, I may download Gears 5. I've heard Gear, Gears, Gears, I've heard Gears 5 has ray tracing as well. I'm just trying to think of games that I can easily get off Game Pass for quote-unquote free because I have a Game Pass subscription that have Xbox Series X. Uh, definitely uh, Ori 2, which I believe is called Ori and the Will of the Wisps, because that has 6K support. All right, so let me pop this over here. Oh, I was going to put that code in, but it looks like it it's doing something. So it may have already done it. I also got an email at the same time, so. All right, here we go. Let me put it back. Um, the console does support 1080p. So it's not 4K only. It's 1080p up to 4K, future support for 8K. Some of the games like Ori are rendering at 6K. Oh, this is the console. Wow. Um, okay, cool. Not much different, which I, I'm honestly okay with that. Let me just check some stuff here. Can't I go to, well, let's see what network speed I'm getting over. Oh, Zach's got a toilet TV. We just got a bedroom TV, AKA I bought a new TV and moved my old one to the bedroom. Don't quite have a toilet TV yet. Um, Zach, I don't mean to call you dumb, but I think that's what a smartphone is for. So, Zach, are you gonna play due do process with us on Thursday? I'm gonna run an internet speed test. I'm currently on wireless. Let's see if I should put it over to, um, I'm 188 over wireless. Not bad, honestly, not bad. But let's disconnect my wireless and see if, oh, my ethernet may be, give me a second. My ethernet may not be connected. I gotta crawl under the disk.
All right, now I'm wired. Let's do speed tests. Let's see how much better it is over Ethernet. Should be like four hundo. Oh, that makes sense, Zach. That makes sense. I just want to get the fastest internet because there's nothing on this console right now. And I would hate to waste a huge portion of the stream just waiting for stuff to download. So I got to make sure I have a fast connection here. Come on now, Goofer. 669. That's pretty good. That may be a new record for me. Okay. All right. Uh, you know, actually, I do want to go in here. TV and display options. So for right now, unfortunately, my capture, capture card only supports 1080p. So we do have some 50 modes. HDR, HDR10, yeah, all this makes sense. System. Storage, what are we looking at? 800 gigs free. That's not bad. I mean, it, it is advertised as one terabyte. But there's always going to be system stuff. Blu-ray, Dolby Digital. Okay, I'm looking more for like power options. Power mode. I do have a large pot. Can you hear that? I haven't turned on my filters yet for this. You know, actually, I'm going to throw filters on right now. I have that. Uh, I have this. I think I like to set it that. And then I have this one. There we go. That's better, right? For some reason, I didn't have my mic filter set up on this particular OBS profile. Power mode, instant on. Yes, please. I don't need to say Xbox on. Why is that here? Is there a mic in this? I don't think there's a mic in the controller. So where is that mic coming from? From the headset? This almost looks like a connect setting. Uh, I don't want that. Startup chime on. Yes. Full shutdown. No, no. Oh, enjoy your lunch. I want a full report. Okay, first things first. All owned games. What do I want to download again? I want Watch Dogs Legion. Install. I also want... I mean, I, I do want Yakuza. I don't know that I'm going to stream it. Let's play some uh, Xbox Game Pass. And I filter by optimized for Xbox Series S. X. Ori and the Will of the Wisp. This is supposed to be 6K. Okay. Let's see what's going on. Oh, oh that's right. There's all these EA Play games. I forgot about that. Oh, none of them are optimized for that yet. But all these EA Play games we just got. Oh my goodness. A lot of Maddens. Madden 15 through 25. I think that's a joke. You. Oh, that's going pretty fast. All right, so let's go see. Oh, see, this is cool. So if I hit this button. Yeah, see, see, this is a saved group that I have because these are like the default media applications we go to. This was set up on the Xbox One X. So I, I actually, I, I don't know. It's I'm kind of torn. It's like half of it is you spend $500 on a brand new console. You want a brand new interface and you kind of want that setup experience. But the other half of it is like the current interface for the Xbox One is great. So keep that interface, carry over all my settings so that I don't have to remake this group. You know, this is just everything here. 
So there is one thing which is motion backgrounds. So let's see if I can turn those on. Account, family settings, personalization, customize the guide. What does that mean? Oh, I can just, I think that's the top of my, I think that's this at the top. You can't see it, but the top of that, I'm just customizing that, but it doesn't look like you can add icons or anything. You're just kind of moving that around. All right, I'll be right back, folks. Hi. Daddy's back. back. Um, sorry about that, folks. Uh, my parents are moving. They actually moved. They got rid of a whole bunch of stuff, and I've just been having to deal with Facebook Marketplace, which is, you know, it's it's a half and half. You got to deal with people, but at the same time, you sell stuff, and sometimes you make money. So I sold some old desk lamps. 20 bucks. Cool. All right. Um, I was trying to find theme and motion. Here it is, folks. So the system theme dynamic background. What if I do a screenshot? Do I have any screenshots on here? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I have some inappropriate screenshots in there. Let's do solid color and game art, and it's got to be Xbox green. And my color is a slightly different shade of Xbox green. Okay. Did that work? 
Not really. I'm trying to get this background. I'm pointing at it. Can you see me pointing at it? This background is supposed to be motion now. Like where you can do that. So let's go to my profile. Hey, if you guys want to be friends, shoot me a friend request. Thank Gibson. What do I have down here? Oh, sweet. Watch Dogs of Legion. And uh, Yakuza. Okay. How? How? Oh, that's right. I forgot. I put the put this glitchy hat on me. I love it. Change theme. Oh, that's just that be that background. Okay, but how do I? How do I? Personalization, profile, my color and background, dynamic background. I think that's what I wanted. Theme and motion. Dark theme, smooth transitions. Yes, this is my home Xbox. Well, I, I don't need to make that switch yet because I don't even know what it is. There we go. See, now the background is moving. They're going to, this is the only one they have right now, but they're going to add more in the future. Um, so while we're doing this, let's take a little looky loo at what we got with the console. We got this, which is some weird little getting started. It's just a description of the ports on the back. Connect power and HDMI, download or go to the Xbox app, tap set up a console. Cool. Okay. Uh, how to put batteries in your controller, how to connect the controller, but I already have it connected. Cool stuff. Uh, let me just check the box, see if there's anything in here that I'm missing. Very nice box. I like it. It just opened up. Bam. Console. Yeah, I'm not missing anything in here. So let me put this back in here. Sorry. Uh, might as well throw the HDMI under my entertainment center. So I, I'm, I'm kind of excited about how... I have this now for my living room. Um, which means my Xbox One X is going to the bedroom. And because of uh, smart delivery cloud saves, etc. Now, if I'm playing a game like Yakuza 7 on the main living room, and my fiance is like, I want to study, I want to watch TV, I want to do something loud like cook dinner or something. I'm like, okay. Save the game, turn console TV off, walk to the bedroom, turn on my One X, turn on the TV, grab that controller, right back in the game. So it's uh, it's pretty handy. And it's interesting, it's like, you know, normally I'd be like, oh, I'm getting the new one, maybe I'll get rid of the One X, trade it in for some money, but I, I'm inclined not to, actually. So, um... You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get an Xbox One controller. Oh, I have one right here. This is an Xbox One controller. It's like a blue camo. Ignore that. But, um... Oh, that is different. Okay, so... If you look at it here... You'll notice that there is a, a line here. So this is basically the front shell wraparound. And then here is a grip texture that starts. This has that grip texture. The front does not wrap around. So it's grip texture all the way around. So basically, if you think of this prong, this controller prong, it's a circle, 360 degrees or a cylinder. On the old console, basically 270 degrees of it was the smooth front, and 90 degrees is the texture. This one's more 180. In terms of textured grip here, smooth grip here. Uh-oh, what happened to my phone? There we go. So, um, interesting stuff there. Just putting them up side by side. You're definitely getting the extra button here. It's very hard to film all this because it's black. So we got that extra center button. But in terms of size, just looking at them right now, I think they're identical in size. 
I mean, don't quote me on that, but... No, this one's definitely... I think the new one has a little bit wider of a controller grip. This area right here is a little bit wider. Maybe. I can't tell. I, I literally can't tell. Yeah, the new one's a little bit wider. In here. The grip is, I don't know, maybe a couple millimeters wider. Looking at the back now. The, these are, they really are. They're nearly identical. Which again, is kind of a give and take. You know, you you buy a new console, you want fresh new tech. But at the same time, if, if it's working great now, why change it? Um, the, it looks like the, well, no. No, uh, I'm, I'm, I think they're just identical. Hmm. Okay, looks like we got some stuff done. Still installing. So close to done. Um, let's look at the top here. Sorry, we don't have a whole lot of light. Uh, you know, I think... No, nah, I can't fix that. Let me try this. There we go, that's a little bit more light. Hey, welcome back. I'm just uh, downloading stuff, but I'm just comparing the controllers in the meantime. They look nearly identical. Yeah, this is some, like, Walmart Xbox One controller. I mean, it's still an Xbox One, but it was like a Walmart exclusive skin that I got for cheap on Black Friday last year. This I actually use this on my PC, and that's why I have it handy here. But this is basically an Xbox One version 2 controller. You can tell because it has the um, headphone jack in the bottom. And this is the brand new one to the left. So on the left is Xbox Series X. This is the Xbox One, nearly identical. D-pad is different, they added the third button, but look, and this grip, it, the new grip here appears to be a little bit wider by a couple millimeters than this one, but just barely. Other than that, it's identical. Well, let's look at these triggers. So this one, the controller, uh, the old one, it's like a gloss here. Sweet, it's done. This is texture on, on the trigger. I don't know how I feel about that. Not crazy about it. All right, let's see what's going on. Watch Dogs Legion is done. Uh, let me make it so that I can see it. So unfortunately, because of our capture setup, this is only going to be at 1080p output, but hopefully that'll still let us see kind of what it looks like. Before, while I'm in here, I want to go to... Um, I want to download some more. Let's download Forza Horizon 4. Just downloading some games so we can take a look at it and see Gears 5. Because we're also going to do some of the... Um, this is not out yet. That's weird. So we're also going to do some um, quick resume, which is where you can basically switch between games and the games are in a suspended state. You don't have to, to redo them. Yeah, we'll do No Man's Sky. Go back to it. So I'm trying to filter by optimize for this console. Install. Play some Watch the Walks Legion. So this game has really bad load times on the Xbox One X. Let's see if it's any better.
press button A. Okay, I... Right now, the fan is barely on, and I can't even hear the fan. I can't even hear the console right now. So maybe when we get this fully blitzed up, I'll take another look at console and heat, but right now it seems fine. Okay, let's sign in as me. Options. I'm not going to turn HDR on because unfortunately I don't have HDR through the uh, capture device I'm using. Menu narration. Excuse me. I didn't see any, like, resolution frame rate performance settings. Okay, let's see what this load. So this load normally on an Xbox One X is probably like 40 to 50 seconds. So let's see what it is here. Let's see what it is here. Let's switch the accent switch. Okay, that's much faster. They'll oh. never know what hit them. What a world, Bagley. You'll never believe the people I've met. What are you doing? Bridges, Bagley. I'm building useful bridges. Works for me. Let's go. Okay, this game. So far, it seems about the same in terms of visual quality. Let's see if we have some ray tracing. Is that is that ray tracing right there? On the window? Let's go find some flat windows. You see, this game still doesn't look that incredible. I, I I don't think it's the console though. I think it's the game. That's ray tracing. Okay, so if you look at the puddles on the ground, you see how we're getting. I'm pointing at it, but you see how that black taxi, how its wheel is reflected in it. That's ray tracing. Look at the white car. Excuse me. Let's take a drive around. Uh oh. Yeah, so all those puddles. That's ray tracing. Again, I don't think this is a great game visually. Um, because it wasn't running that great even on current gen. I, I just, I don't think it's, it's not even running well on PCs. I think it's a badly optimized game, but it does at least have ray tracing. So, let's go find a shiny window to look at. So basically the texture on the ground with the reflections in the water, that looks really good. Kind of. We're getting a lot of like particle dithering. It's really weird. Come on, show me a shiny window. Here we go. Here's some shiny windows. Ooh, there's a bunch of shiny windows up there. Yeah, see, I, this is like it's doing ray tracing in the reflections, but I'm not seeing anything great with lighting and shadows. And it also kind of feels like it's running at 30. The FPS. Sorry. Hop out. Let's go take a look. There we go. That's reflections. Yeah, ray tracing is one of those things where. Sure, the tech is there, and you can barely run it in most cases. And then on top of it, there's barely any implementations that are well done. So it's... Check my downloads, see what's going on here. What's this? 
I have a new message from Xbox. Starting today, EA Play. I already knew that. Yakuza yeah, is installing. Yeah, this still feels like it's running at 30. That's okay, I'm not really going to play this game anyways. It, it also looks like it's not loading in as badly as it was before. Where before I was having issues with, um, like, cars like 300 meters away would start popping in. And it looks like it's much better. And it also loaded in, like, what, 10, 15 seconds? Which is less than half what it was before. Oh, I think I'm, I'm definitely still getting some cart. Like, that was wonky. Oh, that... Okay, there's cars just flat disappearing in front of me. So let's do that again. So this... This is more a, a diss on the game than it is the console, but so if you watch far ahead down the bridge, oh, that bus just faded in. That Those two cars just flat disappeared and a new one came in. Yeah, so that is, I guess that was not a graphical setting or challenge on the old consoles. It's just a badly designed game. Yeah, it's pretty bad. It's one of the many things that make this game just like straight mediocre. Okay, I'm just gonna take a look and see what else we got downloading. So Yakuza is downloading. Ori, Forza. So we'll have a bunch more to play with. Uh, unfortunately, this is the only game I got installed right now, so let's have some fun, at least. But I do like that ray choice. I just wish the rest of the game was as well optimized and ready. Those reflections on the wet street. Man, that does look real good. I just kind of want to drive around in this. Oh, Apex Legends did? Let me download it. Yeah, I gotta go to the store, don't I? Well, you know, actually, okay. I, I think I've downloaded it once on here. Full library. There it is. I'll set that as a queue. My, my goal for today is just kind of to go through a bunch of these Xbox Series X games that have been optimized and just like take a look at them and see how good they're looking and then i've got to have multiple games installed so we can test out the quick resume and all that um so i've got yakuza installing uh oh that was weird that was i don't think that was that could have been elgato but audio cut out there for a second or two right now i'm just looking at these reflections on the ground y'all that's ray tracing. It's weird. It's 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 literally like a diamond in the rough trying to show off the graphics of this game because there's so much wrong about it that is not good. But like Look at that. That little hologram is reflected along with the car in the rainwater. That's ray tracing, folks. We found him. We found Mr. Tracing himself. Um, there's another hologram up here. Looks great on these wet streets. Just that looks great. I'm just. I'm not gonna look up here because the rest of the game doesn't look great. I'm definitely not going to look further than 50 feet, because that's where it gets particularly gnarly. I'm just going to look at the ground for the rest of the game. Look at these people. Huh? Oh, yeah. the summary of 
with these puddles. Oh, you know what I want to do while I have time? I saw somebody... I saw somebody doing this. And they were just running through water. In this game, and apparently it just looks wonky. Look at that. Go steal a boat. Wonder if the water is gonna have proper reflections. Look at the bus, it's reflected. Oh! It's good stuff, y'all. It's almost a bit too much at times. And you can totally see like where my cursor is. That's where it just kind of like, it's like a fade between the effect and the no effect. Let's, let's go steal a boat. Oh, doesn't look like the actual water has it. I just can't help but think about how fucking strange. Weird. Okay, I don't know why the distance flashed there. There's a boat. Okay, whatever you do, just don't look there. Because I have no idea why the ground is flickering out there. Yeah, this game does not look great. It's, it's weird. It's like, but even, even right here. It's like a dithering effect. Anyways. Oh, look, I think the water kind of does have it. Why is it always playing that song when I, when I get in the vehicle? So yeah, it looks like the water does have a little bit of that retracing reflection to it. Oh, yeah. Alright, Mike. It's definitely still running at 30 FPS, which is weird because I'm, uh, I'm on 1080 right now. 1080p. Let's see what options we got. We already went through here once. Gameplay, controller options. Uh, just kind of checking all of these to see if there's any... Display. I wonder if I turn depth of field off, if it's going to be looking better. Menu narrate. Menu yeah. narrate. There's no. What's on here? Feels like my download stalled. 33. That's not right. I should definitely be getting faster internet speeds than that. Yikes. I saw a blue screen there for a second. This is fine. Just doing my job. Um, I don't think it's having issues. Let me, um, I'm going to run a speed test on my PC real quick outside the Xbox. I wonder if the whole network is getting slammed right now because a lot of people are installing. Yeah, my PC is getting 700 and my PC is getting 825 megabits per second. And it's also on ethernet. What if I pause it? Let's see what happens. Phew. Pause all. Pause all. Resume all. Oh wow, it's starting backwards, maybe. Yeah, I think maybe the network's just getting slammed, but good call. Let me check and make sure it's still on ethernet, even though my Wi-Fi sh still shouldn't be that close. That uh, 
slow. It's on wired. Let's see what this says. Honestly, my guess is the Xbox network is getting a little slammed right now. All these people getting their console and then immediately downloading new games. We buy twenty dollars though. It's a nice beefy Ethernet cord though. It looks like it's I mean an HDMI cord and it looks like it's like a six footer. I'm getting four sixty seven. Okay. Well, in that case, I'm just going to have to pause all and I'm going to have to prioritize the ones that I think are smaller. Like Ori and the Will of the Wisps. 53. That one's almost done. So I'll start that after Ori's. Yeah, see, Ori's only 5 gigs. And then uh, I'm going to literally look up install sizes. So the HDMI cable I'm using right now is high speed. I don't know if it's 2.1 or not, but because I have a capture card that's 1080p60, it, it definitely supports 1080p60, the HDMI cable I'm using. The one I have plugged into my TV when I do move this is an HDMI 2.1 um, cable, but my TV does not support HDMI 2.1, so it just means that I'm not going to get uh, 120 FPS high frame rates. I'm just going to get 4K60. Um, yeah, HDMI 2.1 is great, but the big limitation is not necessarily the cable, even though you have to have the cable. It's that there's just not a lot of TV supporting HDMI 2.1. But it's it's not a huge problem because you really only need HDMI 2.1 if you want to go 4K 120 FPS, which admittedly would be nice to go to that, but I can do 4K 60 and be happy. So, where's Ori? Oh. 30, 47. Um, yeah, it's it's firmware on the TV. So like my TV firmware does not support it. It has the port, but it does not support. The, uh, the, the firmware does not have the support for it. Uh -oh. A little audio started there. That happened again. I don't think that is Legato. I think that's the console. Party time. Let's go do a story mission, because I'm not sure what much else I can do right now. I hope I didn't just kill a hobo. So unfortunately, we have to look at this ugly game for a little bit more because, well, because things are installing. What's this? Come out. We know oh. you're there. Ah, shit. Ah. Gotcha. Oh, Gotcha. Got to run for it. All units. We have reports of a hostile in your area. Over. Received. Moving to I intercept. Really visit more of the city. Because I saved that guy, I get to. Hey, buddy. Fine. What was that move? I'm in trouble. Dead sex here. No, I don't want this guy to die. Run. Oh my goodness. Control, we are unsighted of suspects. Over. Excuse me, pardon me. Give me this car, please. Thank you. Control, we're pursuing the suspect. There's our target. Dang it. Daddy got spotted. Target has broken 
I know, right? It's like they really want you to hear that song. Yeah, it's just a lot of like... This game is a lot of like bare bones implementation without like open world genre things. It's like, we're gonna have things on the map. We're gonna have, you know, waypoints. We're gonna have a radio. But then they just didn't refine or improve any of it. Where am I going? I gotta go talk to her. Oh, I'm just recruiting her. I don't want to recruit her right now. Let's do a real mission. This is the other thing is like, I just selected that mission, but it's not, and now I'm tracking it. But it's not automatically marking me there. Go to this one. I hate putting Mary Kelly on the back burner while she continues to destroy lives with those microchips, but for now, we've no choice. I don't care. Then perhaps it's time to have a closer look at the elephant in the room. Nigel Katz, billionaire warmonger and current CEO of our local horde of thugs, Albion BMC. Cass certainly profited most from the bombings. We can inspire London to resist from now till forever, but it still won't break Albion's grip on the city. Not with Cass at the top. I get that. But we're talking about donning a man in charge of the bloody PMC. That's got the whole of London in terror. What do you want? Oh my goodness. Where's the... Where am I supposed to be going? Show a map. What's we doing? Okay, well, me... Skip this. Cool. Got it. Yep. Okay. Now where am I going? London. This is 404, the first peer to pick. I found I, I, images of a CTOS hub that's been covered in 404. I skip graffiti. all the story stuff in this game because it's like not good. Chihuahua. Dropping the location of the hub on your map. See, it just told me to go here, but it doesn't automatically waypoint it. So now I have to go to the map and then waypoint it. Jeez. It's like if if I'm on the mission, if the mission is active. Dear Lord, I'm going to uh, turn off one of these lamps real quick. I'm blown out. It's like if, if you know that's my active mission and I've selected it and you've given me a next step. Then just like, dear lord, just waypoint me there. Come on now. Don't make me go in the map and find it and then select it. S stuff like that that is really annoying about this. Where's the... How do I... Located the CTOS hub. Okay, yeah, let's let's check some. It's installing slowly. I I would apologize, but I could not do anything about this. I literally just got the console. I wanted to give you the full unboxing and everything, so I could not pre-prep it. But if you know you're what listening it, to this, it means you want to learn. This is a good opportunity while the game is running. I'm gonna I'm gonna see. It's definitely hot. Coming out of the exhaust port on the top. Let's see what it sounds like. I, I can I can only hear the console if I put my ear next to the fan exhaust port. I mean, it's definitely warm. But 
Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you're gonna see down here in the lower right-hand corner my ear, and I'm gonna tell you when I can hear the console. Now. Now I can just barely hear it. That's how quiet this thing is. Very, very quiet compared to the original Xbox One and the PS4. It's, it's, apparently the PS5 is just as quiet, which is great. A 404, know what we... I'll need to go to me walkie-talkie club. Thank goodness I have, like, fast travel via these. Metro. Oh, boy. Yeah, it's very quiet. I really want to put this thing in my entertainment center standing up but it just won't fit. I have one slot for it that'll fit, but I have like a much better USB cable storage solution there. So it's gonna have to go sideways. I This thing looks great standing up. It looks real boring sideways. So, kind of disappointed about that, but I'm okay with it. Uh-oh. Where am I going? I don't think I can hack those Coopers. <laughs> that was actually pretty cool. The gate was closed, so I just hacked the van to back through it. <laughs> oh no, it's get, game's getting choppy now. Probably should not have downloaded this first, because this game, not well optimized, I think, anywhere. PC, next gen, current gen. By now, you must have reached 20 Venture Street. The walkie-talkie club is located at the top of the building. Lift access only. But let's see how quick this loads. You have arrived at the walkie-talkie club, Pretty where quick. those with more money than sense come to lose both. The walkie-talkie club is frequented by all manner of crooked elites, and the owners, Clan Kelly, have an AI in place to collect black men onto you. Find that AI. And let's see for ourselves what these corrupt scumbags have to hide. Oh, call me a spider bot. Oh, this claustrophobic spider bot camera. Jackpot. Cool. Hey man, are you trying to fight me? You know what? I'm gonna get up here so you can't mess with me. And I'm gonna take my spider bot back. You know what? Let's go see what he's doing. He's right there. <laughs> oh no, did I? There it is. Wait, I can't spider bot this? Well, let me at least do this so that would open it, right? What? Why is there all this spider bot stuff around here if I can't? Let me at least grab this. I thought for sure the spider bot was a way to do that.
Heck yeah, I can't wait for these copyright strikes to come in for this music. Can I get in here? City, y'all. Yeah, I guess I'll have a drink. Why did he... Did he put the whole... Did he... Let's do that again. But show me what you did with the bottle. Oh, it's just a glass. Okay, I thought he put the whole bottle on his mouth. Daddy's a little tipsy right now. Okay, so how do people get in there? That was fun. Okay, it goes there. Oh, is this it? That unlocked this door, but... Don't look at me, spider bot. How are people supposed to get in and out of here? Oh, there's an interact down here. Well, you worked hard and persevered, and now we have. Blah, blah, blah. Thank you. Oh, we're getting there. 71%. Nothing. The AI is not actually here, just a relay sending the club's data off site. I'll find where it's all going, and you find a way out of this loud, obnoxious sweat hole. Deal? Deal. Oh, you gotta leave me walkie talkie. I've done some digging, and it looks like the facial recognition AI was created by Broker Tech. Tech. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna check some text I need on my back end. I just realized I'm, I may not be capturing this at 60. I thought I was, but let's check. Oh no, I am. It's reading the signal as 1920 by 1080 p at 59.94 FPS, which is basically drop frame 60. Yeah, so, so I'm definitely getting 60 from the console biggest software companies on the planet always keep their noses clean too if they're buying blackmail material from the kellys that's big news everything the ai is collecting here is being sent directly to broker tech hq we have to go there to get the data sorry guys i hear you i really do but what if i was wearing a cool jacket i want this one Okay, but now, and what if I was wearing cool innerwear as well? Like this. Okay. And then, what if I had on some nice pants? This is literally the first time I've spent cash in this game because it's just, there's very little incentive to do it. I'm gonna get some nice shoes. Those are nice shoes. Feeling much but much snazzier now. Look at me. Oh wait, it says there's tech in here somewhere. Where's the tech? I have 
Absolutely love it. Why are there people fighting around me? This is what happened. Oh, they're just beating an innocent woman. That happens all the time in this. And it, it kind of gets to the point where you're like, well, guess somebody's getting beat up again. Tech. Yeah, it, well, it's less that they'll hunt you down. It's pretty easy to get away. It's it's more that when by doing that, then the person you save is like very easy to join your team. So, but I, I mean, I've got a lot of people on my team right now, anyways. So these are all the people on my team. There's not really a huge difference between them, except for like some of the benefits. Like this guy has a security guard uniform and a light machine gun. Um, and then I've got all these that are potential recruits. Some of these I've, s are you, you like, you would just go do a short mission for them and they would join you. But first of all, let's go to tech. I've got 75 tech points. Let's see what I want to do. I want this riot drone because they always so annoying. Yeah, let's might as well hack them too. All right, all right, just stop it. Ninety-one percent. Let's see. Let's go here. Oh boy. Yeah, this game is definitely loading faster on this console. I need to erase the AI at Broca Tech. It's over there. How do I get in? You arrived at Brokatech, lead innovators in software and AI technology, founded by its CEO, Sky Larson, when she was just 25. Talk about an overachiever. So, this is where they put all the nasty shit our optics record are saying. We should put it all online, except for, you know, my stuff. I believe that's exactly what our 404 friend has in mind. I'm onto it. What? Dumbass. You didn't see me. Okay, time to go full hot. gonna kill everybody here. Tell you what though, this game is as chunky as ever.
One second, folks. I gotta take a phone call. Okay, folks, I'll be right back. Give me like five minutes. I got to do some sketchy stuff. In the meantime, I'm going to run an ad break.
Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that, folks. I'm also sorry about the cam being blown out. That's my that's my phone being wonky. But let's go back to the game. Um. Whew. Hopefully everything's downloaded now. One can only hope. Check it. You know what? Actually, let's let's finish this firefight. Real quick. You know, no, this is a good example of quick resume. So I'm currently here. Let's go to my games and apps. The all Q. What do I want to do? Fifty-three cents. Yeah, this is almost done. So. Let's go to resume there, and then we'll go to... Hang on, which of these do we think is smaller? Probably No Man's Sky. Yeah, it is a little bit smaller. Okay, but here's the thing. I can go to Forging the Will of the Wisps. So Quick Resume is basically like a save state type of thing where um, it should uh, basically just keep you where you are in your game. Even if you power the console off, even if you unplug the console from the wall and move it, next time you boot it up and you select a game, within like the last eight games that you've been playing, instead of loading fresh, it will just pop you right in. I have not played any of these games. Ooh, that's a nice main menu, though. I have no idea what's going on, though. I pressed A. There we go. Super sampled 6K 60 FPS. That's what it's set to run at. Yeah, so we're at super sampled 6K or 4K at 120. I, I can't support 4K, so. HDR's off. Yeah, so let's just, let's start playing this game. This is Ori and the Will of the Wisps. This is a, an Xbox One game that has been optimized for the Series X. Yeah, this looks really good. It's running really well. I feel like this game would be great in HDR. 
Um, I just can't capture that. Excuse me. All right, so here's the first test, folks. I did not pause the game. I just hit the Xbox button. Let's go to Watch Dogs Legion. Two, one thousand, three, one thousand, thousand, five, one thousand, six, one thousand, seven, one thousand, eight, one thousand, nine. 1,000, 10, 1,000, 11, 1,000, 12, 1,000, 13, 1,000, 14, Starting all over again. It should not have done that. It should have quick resumed. You know what? I do remember that there is a bug. Let me, let me check something. Press button A. Okay, let's see. Quick Resume doesn't work with some titles. Xbox Series X and Xbox Series S debut an all-new Quick Resume feature. Blah, blah, blah. X Microsoft has identified a select list of Xbox Series X and Xbox Series S optimized games that may not play nice with the capability. So they have disabled... This is not. Sorry, I'm just seeing if if if, 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 if. Yeah, so quick resume is not working right now. Because basically this should have taken me back to exactly where I was in the game. But now that I'm logging in here, let's go back to Ori and see what happens. Whoa! Hey, get! Get off the... Ah. Stupid cat. There we go. Quick resume, top right corner. Bam. Exactly where I was. So let's try that again. We're going to Watch Dogs Legion. I think this is going to be... Well, we'll just look in the top right corner and see if it says quick resume. It does not. So it's it's not working with Watch Dogs Legion right now. Press button A. So it's 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 working with Ori and the will o -Wisp, it's not working with Watch Dogs Legion, but I can at least do this where I have booted up this title. I'm now going to go back to Ori, will of the wisp Let's count it. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000, 6, 1,000, 7, 1,000, 8, 1,000, 9, 1,000, 10, 1,000, 11, 1,000, 12. It's about 11 seconds. It puts you back exactly where you were. So that's kind of neato. Can I go up there? Yeah, so so it just might not must not be watching with watch. Must not be working with Watch Dogs Legion. Play this for a bit. This game looks great. Just doing some 
searching on the side to see if there is... Yeah, so they've disabled Quick Resume on certain titles. I'm guessing Watch Dogs Legion is one of them. They're going to enable it at some point in the future, but basically there's a bug right now, so they're just kind of disabling it at the moment, which kind of stinks. That is a big launch day feature. So the console's a little hot on top. It's it's almost too hot to touch. You know what? I can get an exact temperature. I'll be right back. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I have, in my possession, a meat thermometer. So I'm going to guess that this console out of the exhaust fan is about 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Well, right now it's not. It felt like it was up to 120. Probably like 105 right now. Let's see. Climbing. We're up to 96 so far. 102. Keep going. 105. So again, this is running at 6K 60 FPS. 110. Oops, I may have stuck the methrometer into the fan. So the fan just kicked on. It, it was up to 112.8 when the fan kicked on. I'm going to try and prop this up so I don't have to hold it. Okay, I got it propped up. You know what? Actually, I'm going to flip it so that you guys can kind of see it, too. Probably won't be able to read it, but... Oh, you know what? I can't read it. It's at 112.6. I've only seen it top out at about 113. I should try to make that jump. So the, it, I mean, it's up to 115 now, but it's 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 not quite too hot to touch. And at the same time, that's only at the top of the console. The rest of the console feels either room temperature or slightly warm.
they had it in video games. So it's up to 118 right now. Got it. Got a wall jump now. Is that a climb? Yes, I've only seen it top out at about 118.4 degrees Fahrenheit. Seems okay. I mean, I think as long as you keep a couple inches of space between the top of the console, um, it should be able to cool itself rather fine. And again, it's very quiet. Let me check it. Yeah, you can barely hear it. Basically silent. I just, I really don't like the front of this console. I can't show it to you. I mean, you can look it up. It's basically just a giant black rectangle with the disc slot in the top left and the, the dimly lit Xbox logo in the top right. Just not a fan. Try to go that way. <laughs> he made it. This game is cute with a capital C. Do a quick check. God, how slow is this thing going? Thirty-seven point nine. It's about a tenth of what it should be. Which one is Ori and which one is Will? And also, which one of them is going to die at the end of this game? Because you just know it's going to happen. Sorry, I don't mean to. I'm not making fun of this game. It's just entertaining myself during a cutscene. Maggie, go to class. It's a PG-13 stream. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm so glad the mic is not picking picking on my fiance, cursing me out. She likes to call me a white B word, A word. That doesn't look good, if I had to guess. Ooh, the console's up to 119.8. But, I mean, that's, like, I can touch that. That's not that big a deal. I think the key thing is, the console is not overheating to the extent that it is melting plastic or melting nearby objects or setting them on fire. And it's also not obnoxiously loud while it is overheating. 
It's incredibly quiet. Like, I, 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 I kind of want to say silent. Even though it has a fan, you can barely hear the fan. I think, yeah, it should be fine. As long as we've got it in a relatively open space. There have been images of a PS5 in a store display overheating, but it's because they basically put the PS5 inside of a clear plastic box with no ventilation. <laughs> and it's, if you put any console in that situation, it's probably going to overheat. Ooh, yeah. Okay, all right. So Yakus is done. So let's... We know Ori has quick resume, so I didn't even have to save there. It's just going to keep it in that state. Um, and then they were, they were saying that, well, Maggie, I was going to make dinner tonight. Well, I mean, I was going to make it in like an hour. Anyways. Um, so the, so people tested it basically like, let's say you play game A then you switch to game B, and then you switch to game C, and then you switch to game D. If all of those have quick resume, then you could switch between them, and it's like a five, 10 second switch, and it takes you back exactly where you were. Not like a menu, not like your last save, it's just exactly where you were when you switched the game. And so the, the estimate is that from testing from early reviewers, it's about eight or nine games that you can go. So you can do like game A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, but as soon as you do game J, then game A is no longer in a quick resume state. So it's basically going to juggle that and keep eight to nine games in a quick resume state at once. Um, yeah, it's, pre it's pretty crazy. It's, it's definitely a next-gen feature. Apparently it does it better than the, the PlayStation 5 because I think the PS5 only does one or two games and it's not quite as quick. I I'm wondering if it's just doing a, a safe state like an emulator where, where it's literally just taking... Uh, it's taking a copy of the machine state at that moment and then just loading it back up into memory. All right, so I was playing this this morning. Let's see what settings we got. I don't see any. This should be exactly where I left off. Come on. Well, let's let's see what's some virtual fighter. Oh, they have virtual fighter in here. Great. I, I've only have five and a half hours left on this install, folks. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go to my games and apps, and I'm going to go to Q, and I'm going to go ahead and start No Man's Sky. Because right now, I just want to get games going so we can see them in the optimized mode, and we can also quick resume between them. So let me go back to Like a Dragon. Let's go back to Ori. So it's loading, and then in the top right, it'll pop up and say quick resume if it's quick resuming as opposed to just launching the game. There we go. Quick resume. Boom. Just where I was. So let's let's go back to Yakuza. So basically all these games should have quick resume enabled. I'm just not sure if they're affected by the bug right now. So this is kind of like the splash screen where it's switching to the game, but we don't know yet if it's loading or quick resume. That looks like it is loading or launching, as opposed to quick resuming. Come on now, show me what you got. Yeah, that's not a quick resume. Yeah, Hark, we actually went through and recently played No Man's Sky. So we have a series called The Sandbox, where we play a cooperative survival multiplayer sandbox game. So we've done like Minecraft, Terraria, Space Engineers, um, a couple others. So. I want to say just a month ago, we did No Man's Sky. We did four episodes. Um, so if you go back on our YouTube channel, um, subpixelfilms.com, you can find 
all four videos where we played through No Man's Sky multiplayer. We didn't finish the game, but we went through and just like you're saying, most of us had not played it in at least a year. Sometimes, like for me, I hadn't really played it since launch, so we were able to go in and spend some solid time playing it and seeing what it was like. What does that give me? Oh! Some life orbs. This. Spirit. Oh, that's nice, yeah. It's a, it, we, um, it actually came to Game Pass, let's say a month or two ago. So a lot of us were playing it like that. Um, I, I would say it's definitely worth like 30 bucks. I get up there. I remember getting it at launch and being very disappointed with it. got no keystone yeah at launch it was just like buggy it had long load times it didn't look great like it wasn't optimized and then it just didn't have a lot of content either What's this oh i can probably go light that wood on fire So again, I can't help but say this a lot. This game is running at 6K. Pretty crazy. I died. Oh, that's good. Some good language, I love it. Anugsam, you don't know news. Oh, he gets never. He's okay, not news. Ooh, look at this. Look at this map. Daddy likey. Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't want to fall on there. Did it again. Oh, I did it again, folks. I'm bad at video games. I mean, I don't have it down. 
Thanks, Hark. Fight him some more. I'm going to beat this boss boy. I'm going to do it. Is it really dark for you guys on your screen? Let me see if I can turn it up a bit. Well, it looks like it's about right on your screen. There you go. He died. I got a keystone. Got a keystone, y'all. Let's check some installs. Q. Wait, no, I wanted to do this. Install now. I talk. Oh, you don't honor me, Ira. Is a Uji. On it. Any news? Thanks, buddy. fight him.
Can I go to the left? There's no. Basically, I'm going out of school, right? make me fight this whole boss fight like this. Come on. Really? Look at his light bar. It's barely going down. That, that can't be the whole thing. There's got to be more to it. Trying to see if I can go to the left. Don't touch me. Please don't touch me. That was my fault. to jump on top of them? What am I doing? At least the re reloads are super cool. see what else we've got you know folks I'm, i may have to call it here we've just we may come back later and do another one but i, I think the network speeds are just too slow right now um for me to reliably kind of show off the console um but you know what first impressions very impressed by the hardware uh so far i'm impressed by the graphics even though we haven't really tested them out fully yet but i think it has to do with um 4k hdr so i really i i need to be a 4k tv to really test that out um but you know what we'll definitely come back later we'll show you more of this we're definitely going to show you possibly some more yakuza like a dragon because played about two and a half hours of it so far very good yakuza games man they're like no other um but yeah that's going to do it for us tonight um thank you guys so much for watching this has been an xbox series x launch day stream we will probably not have a ps5 launch day stream i don't think anybody on the subpixel team is planning to buy one on launch day because you know, it's just the there ain't no games, and at least with the Series X, it's kind of an upgrade over an existing system. And with Game Pass, you get a lot of games right away. PS5, there's basically Miles Morales and Demon Souls, and Astrobot, and it's like I don't know, man. That's uh, that's one hundred and twenty dollars worth of games on top of the console, and it's just not probably not worth it. But regardless, we'll be we will be getting one eventually been having a lot of fun if you enjoyed this you should definitely check us out at subpixelfilms.com that takes you right to our youtube channel where we have all of our stream archives as well as 
all sorts of uh, edited video content, stuff on like Lego Universe, Death and Online Shooters, uh, documentaries about the gaming community in Iceland, all sorts of stuff like that. You should also follow us on social media on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitch at Subpixel Team. Uh, on Twitter, we like to post about streams before they go live, tease what's coming up for that evening. Next stream, tomorrow night, Wednesday, 9 p.m. Eastern, Kyle Emblem. Kyle's going to be diving back into Fire Emblem. Uh, we're also going to have a stream on Thursday. We're going to be trying to play more Due Process, which we showed off a lot on the Extra Life stream this past weekend. But uh, we will be streaming 9 p.m. Eastern on Thursday. Just not quite certain what it's going to be. Speaking of Extra Life, we are going to keep Extra Life open all the way until this Sunday. We raised $800. Again, thank you guys so much for watching and contributing. If you want to donate more, you can donate.subpixelfilms.com. That takes you right to our Extra Life donation page. And finally... If you just want to see more of me, you can find me on Twitter at ThinkGibson. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you all next time.